The no landing remains our highest probability economic scenario for the U.S. economy on a next 12 month time horizon. So we're just showing growth. We've got our growth estimates uh, pretty much flat over the next 12 months. Uh, we think there's upside risk to, uh, to, to second half uh, of the year growth estimates. And that's something if we remain in the risk on market regime, you're going to see U.S. growth estimates for Q4, Q1, or sorry, Q4, Q1 of next year, Q3, Q4, Q1 of next year rise. And that's going to really support uh, the, the breakout in the cyclicals that we continue to observe uh, vis-a-vis at a spurge model. Uh, uh, the no landing uh, remains our highest probability economic scenario for the U.S. economy on the next 12 month time horizon if you look at inflation. So if you look at inflation, we got inflation bottoming in Q3 and starting to reaccelerate in Q4. But oh, by the way, that bottom in Q3 is extremely inconsistent with 2% inflation. Like you have to bottom, you know, you have to bottom below two, right? Statistically, just, just uh, arithmetically, <laughs> you have to bottom below two for the mean of the time series to go to. If you've been up above two for a while, you need to go below two for a while. Now, the Fed may not ex- want us to go above two for a while because remember we were consistently or persistently surprised into the downside with respect to two percent. So they're probably fine with it hanging out above two percent for a long period of time. They're not going to change policy if it looks like it's you know at two and a half, three, three, three percent, two and a half, taking a long time to get there. And the Fed just told you that a couple of weeks ago, uh, and so we'll, we'll take their word for that. 